Okay, I just wanted to make another quick video because I've had some questions about uh, the installation and how this works. Uh, on this uh, SHS uh, H630 lock that I installed, mine is not installed on a single door uh, condition here. I've got double doors, so it's a little bit different than uh, uh, the, the normal installation. Because of the double doors, there's a fairly good sized gap right here between the doors. And that means uh, what I had to do was when I installed the, uh, the mortise, I made sure that I cut the cavity only the size, the mortise that's behind this frame here is, uh, comes to about here and about here. So I only cut the cavity that size to go in so that when I pushed it in, this would catch on the side of the door here and that way it wouldn't go all the way in. So that gives about an eighth of an inch that this sticks out a little bit and it takes up a lot of that gap between the two doors because what you need, this little nub right here is actually the sensor that triggers the lock. So when you close the door, you'll notice this thing is hitting right here and when it pushes in, the door is going to lock automatically. See the door locks, so I'll open it. And so I had to do that. If you've got a single door uh, and a normal door frame, you would probably want to cut this out, the complete uh, size of this frame here, so this would be countersunk in there and it will fit nice. And on mine, in the first video, it shows a striker plate right here. I wound up taking that off because as you can see, since this is a double door, this uh, second door has an aluminum frame which connects to the the bottom uh, door plate and the top door plate as well. So this aluminum frame sticks out a little bit and this, the, uh, the sensor finger here uh, was hitting that and uh, the striker plate in there was making it a really really tight fit and making it hard to close the door. Uh, uh, but I had to, to, uh, to have this sticking out because of the gap between the two doors. So um, that works fine now. I might have been able to get away with countersinking this, I don't know, but I didn't want to take the chance. So that's why I installed it that way. But it works fine. Um, and as I told you, I've got mine on automatic. So when you turn the door handle down, it automatically pulls the deadbolt back and it opens it. You can set it on manual so that when you close it, uh, you have to actually flip it over yourself. But I've got it on automatic. Uh, somebody also asked me if you can put this in place uh, of a regular deadbolt, and the answer is yes. Um, I had a standard uh, handle deadbolt uh, situation here. You can't see it here, you can see it in the first video, but the deadbolt was here. I filled this in, and when I took the deadbolt out, I filled the whole cavity uh, in with, uh, or not the whole cavity, because you need, you need a hole on the top for the to connect the uh, inside and outside of these locks. There's a, a, a couple of uh, studs and, and screws that go through there. But for this area right here on the edge of the door, I had uh, the deadbolt hole right here. I just filled that in with Durham's water putty, which is absolutely wonderful stuff. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's called Durham's water putty. comes in a little can or a big can. Uh, you just, it's a powder, you mix it with water and you fill it in. It's, it's the best uh, stuff for this kind of thing that I've ever found. Once it's in there, you can sand it and you can paint it. Um, I also used it around here because when I cut the hole for the, uh, the mortise here, I used a one inch uh, speed bore wood bit and just to drill the hole. So it wasn't, I don't have a lot of fancy, <laughs> fancy tools. So it wasn't a perfect hole in there. I just needed to make sure it was big enough to get that in there. Uh, and it was, but it meant I had kind of a rough edge around here. And so once I got the, the mortise in and everything else, I filled this in with Durham's water putty as well and then sanded it down and painted it so it looks fine now. So it matches everything and you can't tell. But hopefully that will help you out if you've got a double door. There it locks. Um, it will probably take you two or three hours to, to install this thing and do everything. But uh, once you do, it's awesome. We never have to worry about locking the door. As soon as we close it, it's locked. Um, uh, and I'll actually, I'll go outside here and do a quick. 
show you. Um, I think in the other video, you can put the the card up here and open the uh, open the door. I normally use the keypad, and I don't know if the daylight you'll be able to see this really well. But when you push this bar right here. There are two numbers, I don't know if you can see this in the video, two random numbers will appear on the, the screen and then your, your keypad lights up. I'm not, I'm not going to show the, me pushing the combination, but the two, uh, two random numbers, I didn't know what that was before, but the two random numbers is so that if somebody happens to be watching you or they're behind you, uh, it'll put smudge prints on the screen, so if they come up and they're trying to read the heat or whatever off of the screen, uh, there's going to be two extra digits there, so they're not going to have any clue what your uh, what your combination is. So once I push the combination in, it locks, it beeps, and you can also set this so that it's silent. I've gotten used to the beep, but uh, if you want to, uh, on the back side, this is your registration button, uh, which. Uh, uh, you use when you want to uh, program your your cards, key fobs, or whatever. Um, I'm trying to read this. I don't know. One of these, there's two buttons here. One of them is for the sound, and one of them is for uh, auto and manual. Okay, yeah, this is for auto and manual here. So I'm going to put it on manual, and you'll watch now it won't lock automatically. So I'll have to lock it manually. But now I'll put it back on automatic right here, and it locks automatically. And then this one in the middle, it's a little slide button as well. Um, it has two, uh, three settings. One for off was, was for your, uh, your alerts, your sounds that it's making when the door opens and closes. Uh, and one is uh, just a, a lower tone, and the, uh, the one I have it on is the higher tone, so you can hear, it. hear that beep, beep, beep. And it locks but that's it um, hopefully that'll give you a little better idea uh, what's going on and uh, how this thing works and I hope this helps you uh, with your install